For Box Cutter 716, while it was under the knife, every feature of it was um, viewed as a contributor to its loss of speed, and one of those was the shader. So as a response, shader update FPS has been added as a parameter to Box Cutter under the display tab of the add-on properties. By default, it should be at 30. However, if you end up accidentally running this at something like two, you're definitely gonna be in for a bad time when your shader fails to update properly. And you can see the very visible lag behind the interactivity and how this can really just lead to a very bad time. So we go back into our preferences again and we set this to something like 30 and maybe you'll be able to see the difference on your monitor, but now the performance is a lot more um, optimal. However, we can actually take this a step further due to this particular computer. And I can jump this up to something like 60, and now it begins cutting a lot smoother like butter. And this is something that I've begun to notice across other computers and for users having multiple installation types of um, varying configurations being ported over from God knows where, um, having issues with their shader update not being the correct number. Generally, we leave this at 30. If we reset this to default, you can see that it goes back to 30, but you can actually set this as high as 244 in order to really have the most buttery smooth box cutter experience. In fact, you can set it to the exact refresh rate of your monitor in order to get the most optimal shader performance when it comes to using box cutter. That's all that I wanted to talk about in this quick tip. If you find yourself curious in your shader FPS, you can just click on edit, go under preferences, and under your box cutter 716 display tab is your shader update FPS. Of course, remember to save your preferences whenever you're done. I'll actually set mine to 144. I don't think my monitor is um, capable of 244. And we'll just go ahead and just keep doing box cuts and we see that everything is performing well, even with us stacking these cuts over and over and over. In fact, we can now draw a box cut, press Y, extract it. And on this side, draw our extraction, just kind of exponentially multiplying these cuts without having to do so many micro box cuts. And we still have pretty good performance happening here, even though the bullions are getting really thick and the mesh is getting rather complex just from us mucking around having this conversation. So for the record, just get in there under your edit and preferences and locate box cutter, which will always be near the top of the list. And under display, you can set your FPS to whatever parameter you feel works best for your computer.